Hi, my name is Wayne Nelson. I grew up in Nanaimo, and Nanaimo is an important city to me. And I have a testimony that I want to share today about my life and how God came in and took me out of darkness and brought me into his light. I was four years old when I first started remembering seeing things in the spirit realm, but not the good side, the bad side. And that culminated in my life throughout my entire childhood and to the point that when I was an adult, I was completely possessed, I was demonized, I was addicted and angry. And one night I was at a party with some friends of mine and I had a violent nature. My family had gone, they didn't want to be around me anymore, don't blame them. And I thought I better take it easy that night because I was kind of emotional, but it didn't happen that way. And I ended up almost killing someone that night. And my friends prevented me from doing that. I was, as I was driving home, I passed out at the wheel of my truck and something grabbed my head and yarded my head up and I was headed for a power pole and I missed it. The next morning I woke up with a massive hangover, which I never really had. And I was walking out of my bedroom into, into my living room through to the bathroom. And I know it now to be the spirit of God hit me so hard on top of the head that I dropped to my knees in the middle of my living room. And immediately this big screen popped up in front of me. And my entire life was on that screen. It was going at a rapid pace. But every frame, every, every second of that frame, I could feel the emotions of who I was at that time from a young child to who I'd become. I finally came to the conclusion that yes, what they were saying is true. I was addicted and I had problems. So I went through the phone book, we had them then, and I found a, an AA group. And I went to the AA group. And when I went there, I was too embarrassed to say a word. So I never said a word. I just stood in the back, in, in the back corner, in the dark, if you will, listened to everything they had to say, and then left. But when I left, I felt better. So I thought, I better try that again. So another, the next day, I went to another one. And this time, I, I was actually listening intently to what they had to say. And they came to a point where they said, you have to receive a higher power. And the, the person who was in charge of the group said, that higher power can be this light bulb or this chair. You can make it whatever you want. And all hope drained from me. I thought, man, I'm dealing with demons. There's no way that uh, a light bulb or a chair is gonna help me. And so I left that place completely dis despondent, ready to take my life. Friday the 13th, November, 1992. I went home by myself and I got my guns and I was ready to take my life. In a desperation, I sat on my living room floor and I said, okay, God, if you're real, help. And I sat there for an hour, nothing happened. And finally, I thought, well, my brother, I'll give him a call because he had become a Christian a few years prior to that. And he went from an addicted, messed up, crazy lifestyle to a great designated driver. So I just past midnight, I give him a call. I explained my situation. I said, what happened to you when you became a Christian? He said, well, what do you mean? He says, it wasn't like bells or whistles went off, but the more I study the Bible, the more I pray, he says, the stronger I feel about it. And he said, why? I said, well, I've been trying for an hour and God won't have me. And he says, oh, no, God will have you. And he's trying to explain to me that God would have me. And I says, you don't know who I am or what I've done. You don't know who I've become. And so he said, well, just pray this prayer if you want to give your life to the Lord. And I said, really? He says, yeah. So he prayed this short prayer and I prayed it with him. Before I prayed it with him, I tried to get the words out and I couldn't. It was like something grabbed my throat and I couldn't even speak. As I'm sitting there trying to speak and I couldn't speak it, I heard this voice in my head shout, pride. Pride, and I thought, pride, well, I got nothing to be proud of. And so I forced those words out and nothing changed. And so I said, it didn't work. And so he said, I wanna let you know it's worked. And so we prayed a quick prayer. He said, God, I've asked you to show Wayne that you're listening. And I was hanging on to the end of the phone for my life. I said, that one didn't work either. And when I hung up the phone, this impression came over me that I'm about to meet God. And I thought, how does a person meet God? I've never met God. I'm at home by myself, how do you meet God? And so I thought, I better clean up. So I went in the bathroom and I cleaned myself up because I didn't know any better. And then I went to my bedroom and I laid on the bed. And when I laid on the bed, I was lying on my back and I said, I said, God help. And this, with the eyes of my spirit, this big hand came right through, this hand the size of my torso and, and rested on my chest, rested right here on my chest. And at the same time I looked and Jesus walked right in my room. He walked right over and he touched me on the leg. And when Jesus touched me on the leg, that hand turned into a vacuum and I could feel it 
sucking something out of my body and I looked down and I seen these black spirits, black as octopus saying, come right out of my body. And they went across the room and out the window and I jumped off my bed and I ran to the window to find out where they were going. And when I looked back, Jesus was gone, they were gone and I was standing in the most amazing peace I'd ever experienced in my entire life. I searched through addictions and everything to try to find that peace, and there it was, right there, a standing in peace. And I, and I knew that he was there, but I couldn't see him, and I said, God, if you can do this for me, I want to find out who you are. 28 years later, I'm still finding out who he is. I was instantly delivered from all addictions, instantly delivered from anger, swearing I couldn't stop, instantly gone because I was born again. God took me from that spirit of the world and I became born again, one with God. 28 years later, it's amazing. <laughs> God keeps doing incredible things in my life. Just last week, someone else comes to the Lord and God wants to do this with you. You live in Nanaimo, it's your city. Enjoy the presence of God, but reach out to somebody because there's people like me that need you. So thank you for listening to this testimony. God bless you and happy Easter.